The closest thing to a cheat code for winning more tennis matches is practicing your serve plus one patterns. Now you always see crazy stats about how many points on the professional tour finish within the first four shots and understand the importance of starting every point well. But most of us really neglect this part of our game. We spend most of our time building consistency, learning how to rally for hundreds of shots. But none of that is important if you can't hit a good serve plus one. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you three simple serve plus one patterns that you can put into practice straight away, whether you're on your own or with a hitting partner. And I promise you, if you do this regularly, it will make a huge impact to your results. Let's check it out. So before getting into the patterns, my first tip is to avoid practicing your serve on its own. Now, if you already spend time on your serve, then you're already ahead of most players. However, practicing it on its own is completely unrealistic. How many times in a tennis match do you hit a serve, land and stop? Only when you ace and double fault. And let's be honest, the first one doesn't happen too often and the second one we don't want to happen at all. So any time where possible, you should try to practice the next ball after your serve, hence plus one. Now, something that I won't go into in this video is your return plus one, which is equally as important as the serve plus one. It's just the first two shots that you hit when you're returning. I might make a video about that later, so let me know in the comments below if you think that'll be interesting for you. So clearly the most realistic way to practice your serve plus one is with another player on the court with you. Simply serve to them, they return, and you can practice your next ball. All of these patterns that I'm gonna show you today, you can do with a hitting partner. For most of us, it's not always easy to get hold of a hitting partner, but fortunately there are some other ways that you can practice your serve plus one. You can use a ball machine, you can even self-feed yourself, which I'll show you at the end of the video how to do that. But what I'm going to be showing you today is hitting with a rebound target. Now this is, in my opinion, the next best thing to hitting with a player, as when the ball hits the rebound target, it comes back slightly differently each time, testing your anticipation and your footwork, which is ideal for what we need to be practicing. The first pattern that we're going to be looking at is wide and space, which is simply serving out wide and then hitting your next ball into the open court. First of all, I did it on the juice court, so served out wide to a righty's forehand and then hit my next shot into the open court into a righty's backhand. This is probably the pattern that I've used most in my tennis career so far, as I love to hit that slice serve out wide and it's such a simple pattern to put into practice straight away. So this is definitely a good one to start with. The reason this one is so good is when you serve out wide, you're opening up the entire court, meaning that when you're going for your next shot you've got a much bigger space so you can play with bigger margins while still making your opponent move. Now as you can see I've set up two rebound targets. I've put the first one about a third of the way back in the service box out wide and I've put the second one just behind the service line on the opposite half of the court so I can practice hitting my shots into that backhand corner nice and deep. If you're doing this with a hitting partner you can pop cones out to make your serve and next ball more accurate and you can do the same if you're using a ball machine or self-feeding. Try to practice these patterns on both sides of the court. The second pattern is T and behind, which is basically serving down the T and then hitting your next ball behind where your player has just moved from. The benefit of this one is serving down the T really limits your opponent's options, meaning that their return is more likely to come down the center of the court. From there, generally, you'll be able to run around and use your strength, which for me is my forehand, to hit back behind them and to wrong foot them. Welcome to work on my plus two. That's just a warm up. For me as a righty, I'm better at this on, on the ad side as I love that serve down the tee and I can run around my forehand and go big into their backhand side. Another benefit of this pattern is it's great for doubles as when you're hitting that serve down the tee, just like before, it really limits your opponent's options, giving your partner a chance to intercept. But also if it does come back to you, you want to go cross court away from the volleyer. 
Sorry to interrupt, but this week I noticed that only 19% of you guys that have watched my videos this month have subscribed to the channel, and I'm not gonna get that silver play button without you. So smash that subscribe button right now, many thanks. The third pattern in this video is body and volley. And this is a really fun one to practice, but it's not easy. Your aim is to serve at your opponent's body and follow in behind it with a volley. Now, if you feel like you're not able to get up to the volley in time, or you're not a serve volleyer, you can change this pattern to be body and backhand. The benefit of serving into your opponent's body is it jams, creating a much more awkward return, meaning that if you hit it well, that return's gonna be much weaker, generally floating in short, allowing you to ghost into the net to volley or use your strength and target their weakness. As I mentioned at the start, you can self-feed. It's not ideal, but it's definitely better than just serving on its own. What you need is to take two tennis balls up to the line, have both of them in your hand at the same time, you'll throw the ball up to serve, and once you've struck the serve, you'll pop the next ball up ready for your plus one. Now, the problem with this is it's not realistic as the ball that you're gonna be hitting isn't coming towards you at any pace. But what it can do is make your serving session way more fun and a bit more dynamic as well. So if you don't have a hitting partner, a ball machine or rebound target, give that a go instead. Make sure you put some kind of targets at the other end because that would definitely make it more fun and engaging as well. So these are just three patterns that you can practice but you can really use your imagination. Try to think of things that you like to do on the tennis court and put that into play. The benefit of using these rebounders is you can adjust the trajectory meaning that you can change the ball between going high and deep or short and low. What I also like to do with the rebounders is put two side by side at slightly different angles meaning that depending on where your serve goes will result in a different type of return and really testing your anticipation. Not only does practicing your serve plus one improve your match play skills, but it also makes your serve practice more dynamic, more fun, and you can feel like you get a really good workout from it. So it's definitely something that you should add into your training regime. So big thanks for watching all the way through to the end of the video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.